Welcome to my stream. I'm going to be trying out Chained Echoes, the latest game on Game Pass. And at the end of the video, I'll be giving my impressions from the first hour of gameplay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And I haven't, I'm not too familiar with this game. I know it's like very, like kind of 16-bit JRPG style. But, you know, got out to Game Pass. Going to try it out and let you guys know what I think. Wake up. It's time to get up, Glenn. Look how lovely the sun is shining. It's still so early. Oh, come on. Get dressed quickly. Your friends may come any minute. All right, so we get our controls. Move with WASD. Use space to talk. Escape to cancel. Got a few other buttons. Some stuff that's going to deal with combat. Hopefully it'll remind us of that when we get to it. So for now, let's go ahead and just uh, continue. The coast is already in sight, so stop sleeping. Huh? I'm already... It's going to get wild soon, so get your butt up. I know YouTube uh, doesn't like cussing, so if I can avoid it, if it's not character saying it, I'm going to just avoid that. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys don't mind, but let's carry on. Mom? I said wake the heck up. Do you believe this? We're on a suicide mission and he's taking a nap. No, actually, I haven't slept for days because of this mission. I just... I don't care, boy. Get up and move your sorry butt to the captain up on the bridge. Alright, let's go meet the captain after we check out this chest. Alright, got a snack. I will say I do like the movement speed. It's pretty quick. There's a lot of top-down games like this that it's a bit slow and just feels like it slows down the game overall. I have to say, I'm just staring for it today because I'm sick. I wanted, I wanted to join the battle, but Killian talked me out of it. Excuses, excuses. This mission is still suicide. We're supposed to break through the enemy lines as a vanguard. I'm scared, Glenn. What if I'm outnumbered on the battlefield? Would I be a coward to run away? Maybe you can take down one or two. Oh dear, I hope I can find the courage to do so. I feel a little bad that this guy's like, Hey Glenn, like, I'm really open up to you. I'm like, I think his name's Mercenary. Nothing beyond that. You look pale, Glenn. A boy with your talent shouldn't always look so worried. I don't know what talent I have, but I guess we'll find out. If I die, my family in Valerian will get the money for waiting for it eagerly. For the money, of course, not for my death. It isn't Glenn. Excited, aren't you? Maybe alone. Relax, we can just keep the sky above our heads clear and we'll take care of the enemy on the ground. We're a team. Together, no one stands a chance against the band of the Iron Bull. You're right. Luck has been with us for years, as long as I have this lucky charm here. Oops. You dropped it. It's broken. Don't worry about it, haha. <laughs> it isn't a bad omen or anything like that, haha. <laughs> Good to know that first battle, we're gonna win decisively, and the rest of the game's just gonna be hanging out, enjoying the spoils of victory. Just because our name was dragged through the mud by those miserable baboons of a man, we now have to go on the suicide mission. If we survive this, we'll get back at them. I'm still a little congested from my cold, so if my voice is sounding a little bit like that, uh, please excuse it. Look at these babies, Glenn. Aren't they great? Is that dynamite? I've been saving it for a mission like this. Aren't they dangerous? It's dangerous only for that. I know this stuff. It'll be fine. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. All right, all right. Forget it. I'll leave it here. Oh, I wasn't really expecting to actually have an impact. Alright, looks like our captain is a... is a... anthropomorphic lion. All men in battle positions. This vanguard will not sink into the ocean. Gak gak gak. Ah, Glenn, our ace pilot at last. I'm sorry. Too late for apologies. We're reaching the coast soon. Glenn, Killian, you take the sky armors and go ahead. We'll follow you. 
Okay, I thought I was going to be piloting the giant ship. I'm like, I don't know how much a pilot can really do in that position. Yes, sir. Our goal is the Opus Stone. It feeds the other canyons with energy. We smash that thing and clear the way for the rear guard. Understood? Yes, sir. Har har har. Our client doesn't think we'll survive this. Lured by the promise to pour gold around our families after our deaths, we took the job anyway. We will show them that we can survive. We will not let our family spend our pay all alone, right? To the band of the Iron Bull. To the band of the Iron Bull. It's kind of nice that they're like, we're mercenaries, we're only doing it for money, but uh, family, that's higher priority than our lives. What? So soon? They're keen this chart. Did you see it? Curse Tyrant. Tyrrhenians and their darn technology? Let's go. Are you ready, partner? I think so. I thought that was a woman the whole time. Okay. Say, Killian, do you believe we can succeed? What are you talking about? Of course we can. Are you getting nervous? No, I mean, maybe a little. Don't worry. We'll go in, smash the Opus Stone, and get out. The rear guard will handle the rest. Yeah, sounds easy. Normally, we would have to work three years for so much money. What will we do with all of it? I'm not sure. I have a wish, but the money probably won't be enough. Come on, tell me. I always wanted to have my own sky armor. That's nice. What would you do with it? Surely it's not simply for taking walks on a, nice, on a nice day, right? I don't know. I would probably do the same as before. Sky armors exist for battle, after all. I could tune it up and work on it to my own, though. Hmm. It could be anywhere in the world, and yet you choose the battlefield? There's nothing else in my life since you rescued me back then. This mercenary band is all I have. Hope nothing happens to it. You, however, have a family and a home. What would you do with all the money? You know that I'm not here for the money. I would choose the battlefield as well. There's still a long way ahead until I reach my dream. Ha ha ha. Looks like we'll have to pit up with each other a little longer. If we survive this. What can go wrong with our ace pilot, right? Alright, you two. Enough romantic talk. You ready to go? Is that like a fish monkey creature? Godspeed, Glenn. Okay. Sky armor looks pretty cool. Watch out, Glenn. The enemy is sending their own sky armors our way. How about a demonstration of your skills, Glenn? I bet you can take them down on your own. What? So, battles are turn-based. You and your enemies take turns choosing actions. The order of each turn is displayed in the top right corner. HP represents your health. If it reaches zero, the character is incapacitated. Tech points are a resource used for skills. HP and TP are restored completely after each battle. Okay. The icon next to a skill indicates the type of the skill. So, um, sounds pretty standard. It's just TP instead of mana. And it's interesting that they both refill after each battle, so you don't have to worry about conserving your mana between fights. Defeating enemies in battle grants you access to different spoils. Loot that can be sold for money or to unlock new deals. Materials that can be used to upgrade weapons. Or skill points used to upgrade skills. Seeing an enemy will show your loot immediately, but you will not receive it until after the battle. Alright, so we got... Let's go ahead and start off with the basic attack. Attacking this enemy sky armor. Those are pretty high damage numbers, but I have a feeling I'm gonna lose my sky armor and then go back to dealing like 6 damage per attack. Now let's go ahead and try to skill. Okay. I thought you have to hit space to select skills, but you can just go to the right. Oh, even when you're high lying attack, okay. I see there's this gear in the top left. I'm guessing that's going to be some mechanic that we delve into later on. So I can do Piercer, a single physical blow dealing 2.2 times damage to one target, or Poison Salvo, and flips poison for five turns. Let's go and do Poison Salvo since it's pretty, pretty early in the fight. Alright, let's go with Pierce for now. Now that he's poisoned. Alright, got five skill points. They're no challenge for our ace pilot. We shouldn't fool around, Killian. Well then, get ready. Here comes a new challenger. Alright, cool. 
Nice to see my mana recharge already. Let's go ahead, do the exact same thing. Poison, and then just Piercer for the rest of the attacks. That's it, Glenn. Now onto the Opus Stone. Whoa. Look out for their cannons. Alright, the Ogre is killing And he did no damage to the enemy so far. Okay, now there I go. Dar is bringing us this one. Are you alright? Of course not. The Sky Armors were our best chance to reach the Opus Stone. As long as we still have legs to walk and arms to wield a sword, we will not give up. It's about time that you get to know the battlefield outside your sky armor. You've had enough training. I did... I fought two enemies! But here on land, you follow me. Understood? Yes. We will fight our way to the Opus Stone on foot. Once the stone is shattered, we can wait for the rear guard. Alright, so... Gonna move north. Ignore the battlefield, Glenn. Let's take this way. Climb up here. Nice. Uh, okay. Got another chest. Alright, now on foot we have cross lock, physical multi hit attack, 0.7 times per hit to one target. I guess you do multiple hits, and each hit does 70% of your attack. Then we got armor break, lowers target's defense in mind by 15% for three turns. I don't know if we really need to do that, but starting off, let's go ahead and give it a, give it a go. Alright, broke his defense. Oh, and now Kulian's moves. We got a physical attack dealing 1.1 times damage to all, and then helping hand that restores HP with a potency of 1.3 to one target. So let's go ahead and start up doing White Swing. Now let's do white slash, or uh, not white slash, cross slash. I think we got enough mana. It's called TP. I'm just gonna call it mana for like shorthand. So I think I got enough mana that I can use this like every turn to take out these two enemies, and we'll be fine. And then this one, it's only 10% more damage. I guess I'll just attack and have mana for healing if I need it. For the tutorial battle, I hope I do not. Alright, got two skill points. Okay, this guy looks like we should go ahead and do an armor break. Might as well. It'd be nice if there's a way to see how much health he has without highlighting him specifically, just so I can see what his health is at when I'm choosing what attack to use before picking my target, but minor complaint. What do snacks do since we heal between each battle? Is it only to heal during a battle? Yeah, I guess so. It's the standard array. It was hit. No way. Focus on your task. I bet the others escaped in time. Paper looks like it's like separate from the table, but I guess we can't interact with it. All right, another battle. Getting quite a 
quite a few criticals in this fight. See if we can spend skill points that we got so far. Okay, here's here's skills, so I guess not for now. Then we got quest and bestiary. Did the knights we fought show up there? Yep. Okay. And then let me check if there's an option for that health display. See, I wanted to remember Vesta display. I don't know what Vesta means. Yep, I think all of this looks good. I increased the text speed just because ideally I'd want it to just be like immediate, but it's pretty fast to move the points on speed three. That, oh, I'm kind of surprised the mercenary got ahead of us, but Glenn, don't talk. His wounds look bad. After I was hurled from the stern over it, I found myself in between the enemy lines. As he said, I tried not to flee and tried to defeat as many of them as possible. At least, I'm not dying a coward's death. He's gone. Alright. Ripped that guy that we met on the ship. Oh, we got our very first episode. And... Reading out of the chat. Hi, I want to offer a promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, views, chat. Bots, the price is lower than any competitor colleagues can. Okay. So let's just pay a message to basically buy bots for views. So pass. That was close. More of them. Get ready. There are too many. Need a hand? Commander. Let's show them the power of the Iron Bull's mightiest team up. The overdrive bar is the core of the battle system. The bar has three areas, yellow, green, and red, representing the state of the party. The cursor shows the current position on this bar. Almost every action moves the cursor to the right. The small cursor shows where the cursor will jump to when choosing an action. When reaching the green area, the party is warmed up and is in perfect synergy. This is called overdrive. In overdrive, the party takes less damage, deals more damage, and most importantly, only needs to spend half the amount of CP on skills. Always try to stay in overdrive. Eventually, the party will reach the red area and become overheated. This will let the enemy deal massive damage to you. In order to stay in overdrive, the cursor must be moved back to the left. This can be done with one of the following actions. Ways of blowing the overdrive. While in overdrive or overheat, an icon will appear in the box left of the bar. This icon represents a skill type. The number next to it shows how many turns the party has before the skill type switches. Using a corresponding skill will make the cursor jump to the left by a great margin. Skills of the corresponding type are also marked yellow. Switching out characters in battle, more details later. Use the defend action, use an ultra move, more details later. Actions move the party's position on the overdrive bar. Try to reach and stay in the green, green area. Overdrive effects. Damage dealt is raised, damage received is lowered, skills cost half to keep. Overheat effects. Red area of the bar. Raises the damage received to stay out. Use different options to make the cursor move back to the left. Alright, so that's an interesting balance to keep it in overdrive, but not go too far. And so kind of balance that out as you're fighting the enemy. So now we got five enemies, so sounds like a good time to use the skills that targets all of them. So let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, dang. Didn't even get a chance. So I'm gonna go ahead and just target one of the weaker units. Try to get them knocked out sooner rather than later. So we got fire burst. Magical fire attack dealing two times damage to one target. Increases defense and mine by 15% for four turns. We got five enemies and 
probably going to be taking a lot of damage like that dolphin guy just did, so let's go and use that. Again, let's do damage to all of the enemies. Alright, took one of them out. And then, let's go ahead and target one of these guys again. We are getting a little bit close on the drive bar. Okay, cool, this will bring us back down. So, two times damage to one target. Let's go ahead and take that guy out. Okay, this will take us down on the overdrive bar as well, so let's go ahead and do that. A lot better than just attacking one unit. And then, let's focus one guy again. And take this guy out. fight, stayed in the green the whole time, or as soon as we could, and never reviewed. So, we live. There, Lou. Fools, the Sky Armors were our biggest hope to end all of this quickly. We didn't stand a chance. They call you an ace pilot, and, that you can and yet you can't even... Shut up, both of you. Save your strength. The stone is near. We will fight the remaining foes on foot. Forward. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Didn't expect to see like an Anubis Egyptian looking sky armor. The sky armor again? This is bad. No choice but to fight it now. Don't worry, Commander. Don't worry, we got two guys on foot against one giant piece of floating armor. Guys, we will deal with it. You go and destroy the stone. Stay alive, you hear me? I'm glad those guys can stop him because he can't go up and over them or anything like that. Definitely can't fly around like he currently is levitating. Say a lot, you hear me? Of course. So, the enemy has reached the stone. I'm sorry, my lord, but the casualties were... Spare me the details. Everything is going according to the plan. According to plan. So you intended for you guys to die? Time for the final act. The Opus Stone. Once it is destroyed, the other cannons are out of fuel. You're a soul dead here, Fred. Fiends. It's that sky armor again. That means the others are. I don't remember that sky armor now. That's. Wiwian. Why, Wyatt? A famous doppelstalter. Okay, I'm. I'm doing the best I can here. And I know of you as well, band of the Iron Bull. What madness has befallen you to take such a mission? What did Kravos lure you with? With gold they do not possess? Do you even realize what you're dealing with? We need to get past him. Then we smash the stone. You, it's, it's right there. You can, it's closer to you than he is. Now if I smash your skulls first, you fools. Alright, let's target this guy. Let's do as much damage in this life as we can. Oh, let me go ahead and move my camera so it's not blocking the uh, the turn order I can keep the border on line. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Oh yeah. So now let's continue focusing this guy. Let's go ahead and do an armor break on him.
Yeah, I'm probably gonna take a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm gonna know where to go. Inflicts poison with a potency of 25 for 5 turns. Can't be resisted. Magical wire attack dealing 0.7 damage to all. So this is gonna take us out of overdrive, but I think poisoning him turn 1 will be worth it in the end. that poison while we can. Now, Killian has the healing ability, so I don't want to risk using up his mana when it's still useful. Well, when we don't really need it to deal 10% more damage on his attack, and we might need that healing later. Alright, I was hoping we get to him so I can cool down our overdrive for a moment. I'm just gonna do this just for now. Oh, let's go ahead and heal Glenn this turn. Okay, that's good. And then. Huh, is the armor break on? Let's go ahead and refresh that armor for you. And then... Yeah, our buffs are about to expire, so let's refresh that. Pretty high, so let's go ahead and do that. And armor break, we're good on. So let's go ahead and do that targeting here. Oh, I completely forgot. Does he have a health bar that I can check? Hmm. Yeah, I guess not. Just have to keep doing what I can. Oh! Alright, guess that was it. We did it! Oh, I, I gained a Grimoire Shard somehow. Um, I don't know what that does, but... Now for the Opus Stone. No! Commander, Killian. I don't know why you didn't do that from the very beginning, but here we are. Opus Stone, what have they told you? Glenn, smash it. Stop, boy. That's no Opus Stone. It's not fueling anything. Don't listen to him. Go. Ooh, the Grimoire. Well, I hope this doesn't lead to any catastrophic results. Oh, um, what is this? Light?
title card. Alright, so that's the prologue out of the way. And let me move myself again. Just so I'm not blocking this text. Volandis, a continent with a proud history of over 3,000 years, once it was home to the magical city of Nisa, the center of magical teachings. But since its downfall, Volandis has been consumed by war. For six generations, three kingdoms have been battling it for domination. In the north, they get the kingdom of everlasting rain, Terran. The greatest harbor in all of Volandis, Farnsport, and its kingdom, Escania, to the south. Finally, in the east, the proud nation of Gravos. In 806, the seventh era, Terran conquered Gravos. A few days later, during an attempt to reconquer lost territory, the greatest accident of the war, of the war occurred. A powerful explosion engulfed the eastern part of the continent. Tens of thousands of people died. Well, I feel bad for whoever was the cause of that. The weapon that could cause such destruction remained unknown, since none of the Third Kingdoms admitted to possess such a weapon. Fear finally drove the rulers to sign a peace treaty. This ended the war after 156 years. In 807, one year after the signing of the treaty, a celebration was held in Farnsport to, mar to mark the anniversary. There he is, Rob. I was not mistaken. Look for yourself. Sitting right in the tree close to Lady Carnella's route. I do see him, but maybe he just wants to get a good look at the, par at the parade. He wouldn't need a sword for that. Also, they are forbidden during the festivities. Are you sure there's a sword? I can hardly recognize it. Rob, as exemplary members of the City Watch, it is our most urgent task to pursue this. But we are supposed to guard the castle today, princess. Ooh, spotlight outside. Her true identity is Princess Celestia Valkyria of Terran, sister to Prince Frederick. Shortly before the end of the war, she fled to the castle to see more of the world, as well as her people's struggles, worries, and hopes, in order to become a better princess to them. After a chain of events, she ended up as the guard of the city watch for Terran's enemies' kingdom. Rob, don't call me that. Ah, forgive me, you older. Rob! Sorry, Lynn. Heir to the House of Rimeyer, Rob grew up as a ward in the castle of Tormund together with Lynn. Once he learned that she planned to flee the castle, he insisted on tagging along. Her well-being is his highest priority. It is a miracle that we have not yet been discovered. If anyone here finds out who I am... Anyway, let's make haste towards the West Gate and on. Um, I mean, let's, um... Hurry? Let's hurry to the West Gate. After defeating bosses or finishing special tasks, the party will gain Grimoire Shards. Owning a Grimoire Shard is similar to a level up. You can use it to strengthen your characters. Gaining one Grimoire Shard allows all party members to make use of it. So here, learn six more skills we'll have to unlock. Okay. In the Learn Skill menu, three types of skills can be learned. Action skills can be used in battle by selecting and spending TP. Passive skills are automatically active in battle. Stats boost raises a single stat of a character. While stat boosts are automatically added to your character's attributes and are permanently active, action and passive skills need to be equipped. This can be done in the set skill menu. You can use SP in the set skills menu to level up your action and passive skills. By defeating enemies, you can receive skill points. Every skill a character has currently equipped will gain skill points. Additionally, every character will accumulate skill points that is placed into their own credit pool where you may distribute freely to whatever skill available for that specific character. Okay, I guess we play as completely different characters now, which makes sense when the previous characters were standing six feet away from an explosion that just killed tens of thousands. Let's see... Oh yeah, we can enter people's homes. I'm baking pastries to sell to the people. You want to know the secret ingredient? It's wood. You don't believe me? Whiskey gets its flavor from wooden barrels as well. And don't forget, crescent cheese pressed through wood. 
I use it as flour for these pastries. Doesn't sound the most appetizing, but no. If you're, you can't be as selective in 807. Parasitic yeast. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you two. I'm just so very disappointed by this view. All of this is so wrong. I'm also surprised that in this like medieval setting, they have the city with this like bridgeway that's so high above the city. It just doesn't sound very stable or secure or technically feasible. What do you mean? Six generations, that's how long this war lasted. I'm 72 years old, and even my great-grandfather was born during this war. This country has known nothing but hatred and pain for a very long time. But yet, look how forgetful these people are. They hear their fellow countrymen's murderers. If forgiveness is the price for their dream of peace, they seem willing to pay it. People have paid higher costs for their dreams. After all that's happened during the war, forgiveness is not a cheap price to pay when... But this might be something only we elderly can understand. I'm sorry, ignore the ramblings of an old man. Len! If it isn't the greatest pilot in all of Viscania, this is the first time I've seen you in a fancy uniform. Terrible, isn't it? Ha ha ha. Len, our child was born this morning. It's a girl, the most beautiful girl in the world. That's a very, like... This whole, like, little minor conversation between before being like, Oh, by the way, we have a child now. Oh! Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, oh, now Len has a baby, but I was like, oh, she'd be pregnant and she'd be the one giving birth. But that was wonderful. How's Gabriella? Excellent. Only because of you, they are both doing well. If you hadn't brought us the medicine, I'd gladly pa pass on the thanks to my grandmother. She knew a lot about medicines. I must have been fate. Her name is the Verlia. It is an old Bakian word for peace. My first daughter was born during the war, but the Relia has the first chance to experience the time of peace. The horrors of war shall remain unknown to her, and I'll do everything to keep it that way. Ro. Remember, you saved the lives of my wife and daughter. I'm forever in your debt. There you are, Ro. Lady Elenia, I'd like to meet our most famous pilot. Follow me. Oh well, obligations. If it benefits peace, I shall even act as a showman. Until then. I feel like the most famous pilot's gonna be Glenn, but I'm not sure how he survived the whole explosion. I don't know their reasons, but some people are planning a riot today at the east gate of the palace. I guess he's the same species as that mercenary that was on board. Okay, you can pet the dog in this game. Farnsport isn't called the Dancing City for nothing. Long live our freedom. Oh yeah, that's the beat. Oh, they get like a cricket drummer. Alright. The calves are a practical way to get from point A to point B. Farnsport is huge after all. You cannot pass here. Oh, it says new skills. Let's see if we can upgrade now. So, let's go ahead and learn skills first. So if it has a star, does that mean I already have it? Okay. So I have... Water Thrust, Cleanse, and Fire Thrust. And then he's got Poison Shot and Power Shot. Oh, he has Counter Cure. 30% chance to counter single target physical attack by curing a random ailment on self. Oh, I guess as it levels up, then you get 40% chance and then 50% chance. So let's go to learning skills. So let's see, right now I have a... Well... Oh, okay, here's passive skills. I was wanting to see the passive first. Because I feel like... Unlocking action skills is going to be the best short-term, like it's going to give me more options and types of damage. 
But I feel like passive skills or stat boosters might be the best long term. Because I feel like action skills are going to get outdated and replaced with the later ones anyway. But passive skills and stat boosters are always going to be like at least a bonus. But I guess passive skills can also get replaced because you can only equip so many of them. But let's go ahead and read through the options. So we can remove buffs. We got water thrust, that's a magic water damage. Water attack dealing with 1.8 times damage. And then basically the same thing for wind and fire. Deal 10% more damage against this monster type. Oh, I guess flying enemies. Raises mana by 10%. Raises resistance against this element by 15%. Enemies take one turn longer to apply this ailment for the first time. And then 10 health points, 2 plus 2 to magic, plus 2 attack, plus 5 mana. So I'm thinking the abilities that increase your resistances or stuff like that, or like max mana, it's not really gonna help me deal damage. I'm definitely. I definitely prefer like glass cannon builds in general. So let's see what these jumps do, just to get a sneak peek. Okay, so jump basically does one times damage to all enemies, and then these deal 1.8 times damage to one enemy. So I think I want to get the wind damage like available, just so I can do attacks against enemies that weaknesses to win. So let's go ahead and learn that. And then, okay, that gives me a lot of other stats as well. And then 10% more against a specific type of enemy I'm not too excited about. Raises mat. Well, I guess I have 10% more mana if I do that. Resistances I'm not worried about. Attack plus two, or magic plus two, that would be pretty good. But let's go ahead and check this guy's stuff first. So we have Poison Shot. Reflects poison with a potency of 80% for 5 turns. Spreads targets, poison slash toxic to all enemies for 2 turns. Okay, that's interesting. 1.8 times physical damage to one target. 2.5 times physical damage to an enemy who attacks the target. Okay. So I guess you can choose one of your allies, and then the next time they get attacked, they do 250% damage to an enemy. So passive skills, raise agility by 15%, deal 10% more damage against beasts, 30% chance to counter single target physical attack by curing, curing a brand of ailment on self, resistance to water, 10 health, 2 attack, 2 defense, or 2 mine. I... Hmm. I think this ability is really interesting. I don't... It may not be the best ability to use, but I think it's interesting enough I'm going to go with it. Because basically you can just poison a target, and then use this on that guy, and just poison all of the other enemies. So let's go ahead and learn that. And then we also get one attack. And I think that's all, yeah, that's all we can afford right now. Oh, let's go ahead and set those skills so we're not just wasting it. Oh, I guess I automatically equipped it. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna put in the order that I want. So let's do, let's do attacks first. So fire water, and then win, and then support abilities. And yeah, poison, shot, and pandemic should be together. Alright, that looks good. We should take a cap, it is faster. Okay, where are caps? Ok, 
Okay, I feel like this is... Is that not the tax again? I mean, I guess they'd be outside, but... Okay, this is stereo. Oh, I see. Do you want to leave the city? Yes, please. Okay. I don't think this guy's going to be too much trouble, but let's go ahead and just try out our abilities on him. Okay, so he's going to be fire. Sounds like this is gonna slow me, take me out of it, but let's go ahead and try it out. I mean, he's gonna die in one hit anyway. Deals high, non elemental magic damage to all enemies. Supreme elemental rainfall. Alright, let's go ahead. I saw earlier. He does indeed carry a weapon. Let's follow him. There are a lot of people here. Maybe I can sell a thing or two. He's got snacks, sweets. I don't think I really need anything yet. But let's not start selling stuff this early. Aw oh man, I can't see Lady Pernella's convoy from here. I wish I was younger so I could climb up this cliff here and get a better look. Oh, but yeah, I can't climb that. Beware of goblins. I think goblins should be aware of me. I guess that would be a flying enemy that I could get that skill to do 10% more damage to. But again, I'm still not too concerned about targeting specific types of enemies, so probably not gonna upgrade that anytime soon. Alright, let's go ahead and focus on the pig. Because I knew what his weakness is. Oh wait, was there something? Oh, it tells you in the bottom left. Weakness is fire. Strong to it looks like a rock, so I'm guessing earth attacks. And it can steal. Does this mean you can steal from it, but it can't be canned? Oh, and this is the type of enemy it is. So it doesn't have any strength. It's weak to. I'm guessing that's wind. Can steal and be canned, or can be stolen from and can be canned.
gonna poison the box fly, so it's taking damage while we're not focusing on it for so long. Okay, let's try Wind Thrust on this guy and see if that's a weakness. Yep, okay. Glad I unlocked that skill then. I'm almost out of mana for this character. Though. Because it used that evade skill. Okay, it looks like it finally lost it, so. It's gonna poison it. Alright, there we go. So this is two skill points, but I need, like, a lot before I can. Great skills, right? Okay, yeah. I didn't earn any stars recently. But I'm supposed to be able to assign me. Is it I to level up? I guess I can't level up yet. Alright. That cave doesn't look intimidating at all. Another earthquake? We have never had as many as in the last moons. And yet those were only small ones. People say that a massive earthquake is imminent. One as big as the one that devoured Nisa. I'm noticing now this character portrait. It looks like the guy with white hair that's on the bridge that said things are going to play on. Could be related, could be just a reused asset, but who knows. Do you think these runes are from that time? From the time of Nisa? Maybe. Many castles and watchtowers sank to the ground during that time. Once they are home to loyal soldiers, today they offer shelter only to rats. And by rats, I mean them. I'm telling you, we should get out of here. These runes only bring bad luck. Everywhere you look, there's goblins. Filthy creatures. Well, if you were chased out of your home, you wouldn't be any nicer than them. Their home? Don't make me laugh. Two years ago, there were no goblins here to begin with. I have no idea where they came from, but they don't own anything here. I'm not going to be exploited by those fine gentlemen up in their castles, only to be robbed at, by these creatures here underground. Come now, save your breath. You don't have a choice anyway. This world will... This world be darned. Our target is not here. We must have gone deeper into the cave. At least you're right, they certainly look like robbers. The question is, what are they planning? That is what we need to find out. Hey guys, where are you up to? So they're human, they don't have any strengths or weaknesses, so... Let's just try to do as much damage as we can. I suppose fire is pretty decent for attack. And then now, let's poison the guy that we're not focusing so there's more turns for him to take damage on the poison. Knock me out of overdrive. So let's go ahead and just do a regular attack for now.
feel like we should have interrogated those guys instead of just vaporizing them with fire attacks, but the door is locked. We need a key. Okay. It's hard to tell that you can walk through here when it looks like a wall is just high up. Oh, okay. Finally found some goblins. So, no strength or weakness. So let's go ahead with the classic fire fist. And let's go ahead and target the shaman first. He probably has lower health. And then poison the soldier. That's probably the only one. my ultra move that deals damage to all enemies, but there's only two of them. I don't think this fight's really urgent, or like, I don't think it's going to be a close call, so let's go ahead and just save it for a bigger fight. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove that attack shell. I'm glad he attacked I'm glad he attacked her though, since otherwise they would have died. Oh, I didn't notice you restore mana from being regular attacks. Okay, 75% chance to act first in battle. I'm going to go ahead and give that to Rob since he has that poison ability, and that's kind of what I'd want to get out first. Alright, let's play just a little bit more, and then I'm going to go ahead and call it for the night. All oh, right, I still need a key. All right. Oh, okay. Poison soldier. And then let's focus on Let's go ahead and remove the attack button for this guy. Okay. 
Okay, I think that I think the key may be in that bed. It'd still be nice if I could see what their health number is, so I'm not just assuming that the shaman has less health, and I don't have to keep track of how much damage I'm doing with each attack to figure that out. Instead of removing the attack buff, I'm just going to go ahead and finish these guys off. I don't know what mind break means. Normally I would have just used my like single target attack, but if I did that it would have not been enough overdrive, so it's gonna just focus on that. Okay, there's a chest. Let's go ahead and grab that. Probably gonna be a snack. Oh, it needs to do. Okay. Put these on. These are the uniforms of the palace guards. Ha, huh, I haven't washed myself for three weeks, but it's the thought of wearing these uniforms that makes me feel really dirty. Spare me your sense of humor. We share a goal, but that doesn't make us friends. No need to tell me that. Anyway, Lady Pernella steadily approaches the city. Kill her while wearing these uniforms, and make sure that people see you. I will watch the show from the city walls, but excuse me if I will not applaud. My reputation, you understand? We'll carry your secret to the grave as discussed. I know this man from somewhere. This is our opportunity. Stop, city guards. You are under arrest. Look at that. So far away from your city walls and yet so cheeky, huh? The law of the strongest rules here. Get them. During battle, the ultra, ultra move bar will slowly fill. Once full, when one of your characters can perform an ultra move by pressing R, the ultra move bar is automatically filled at the start of a boss battle. Oh, okay. That's cool. I also wish I knew that before I had saved up my ultra move this whole time. But I was, like, as soon as I saw these guys, I was like, alright, this is the time to use an ultra move. So, let's go ahead, we might, well, I'll use the ultra move on her turn, so I can poison, get started on, like, poisoning all of these guys first. And then now, damage all of them. I should have checked if the ultra move is different depending on whose turn you use it on. Oh wow, that was a lot. Er, maybe it was an earthquake yet again? Wait, there is something beneath. Huh. Whoa, a sandworm. Okay, weakness is water. Should I have saved my ultra move for the same one? I think I can remove that HP. 
All right, cool. I guess I'm just gonna defend because I wanna not overheat. Okay, that's pretty good use of it. And then okay, he's not poison anymore. But I that would make me overheat as well. So defend it is. Okay, this will cool me down, so that's good. Refresh the poison on. And then basic attack. Okay, both of us are pretty low on health. Seems like a relevant time to use some snacks. Okay, that actually feels quite a Oh, that fight was over anyway. Alright. want to end up like your buddy, you better spit out what you're up to. Long live Fawn Sport. Stop it, Rob. This is unnecessary. Their lives are unnecessary. Dang, Rob's gone cold, man. Make it quick. I am not taking orders from the likes of you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Curses. Haha. <laughs> the way you treat prisoners, one can mistake you for a nobleman. Tell me, what is your plan? We're going to put an end to this festival. This peace is not real. Everyone's waiting for the new war. A new war? These 150 years have produced a royal line of warlords. They have no idea on how on how to deal with peace. It's all fake. All they long for is another war, and we're helping them to get it. You're planning an assassination? Peace cannot be your enemy. We yearn for peace just like everyone, but this current state is nothing more than a breather at Escania's expense. Terran is using the peace tree to recover from the explosion a year ago. Our chancellor is a fool and doesn't see it. We'll make the decision in his stead. The new war will bring true peace eventually, for everyone. At birth, every man is equal. Stop babbling. You're a rat from the moment your mother is threw you into the world. Do not speak of equality. And now tell me or I'll slit your throat. Who was that man before? How many of you are there? Long live farm sport. Long live the landis. Sinisapuku. Yep, there we go. Rob probably there this way. If we leave this route alive, it will bite the next opportunity it gets. I forbid you to kill a helpless person in my presence ever again, do you understand? But as soon as she leaves, it's game on. Yes, princess. We shall return and report to the commander. A line of warlords. Does this apply to my brother as well? Seems like nothing has happened so far. I guess we've the plan. 
What if there are more of them? What if there is a plan B? I have a bad feeling about this. Let's report to the commander. He will know how to act. He is probably wondering where we are anyway. Is something in this? Are you sure, my lord? My lord, is this par is this parade not worthy as a as a stage for you? They had a wagon prepared just for you, my dear Highland. Sometimes I prefer the way through the orchestra pit, but it is quite loud here. I'll take the noise of the crowd over the whispers of the court any day. Forgive me. What does a simple servant like me know about the problems of such a famous man like you? One does not need to be a powerful king or queen to be famous all around Eldrio. Sir Victor of Arcadia is living proof that a civilian can gain as such prestige. As the author of stage plays and poems, he has written himself into the hearts of many. Having developed the first letterpress machine, he was able to distribute his works to every corner of the world and accumulate vast wealth. Shishishi. Now give me a break. People forget it sometimes, but I am not a nobleman. So let's cut the charades. Just take me backstage and show me where the fun is. Very well, Sir Victor. There we are. I, may I cordially invite you to participate in our variety of fun games? The games are played with so-called chips. Please take 50 and try to accumulate as many as you can. Once you're done, you can exchange the chips for prizes in the north of this plaza. Have fun. There's more to my taste, shishishi. Alright, looks like we got some new playable characters, but got done with their first boss fight and got a bit more exposition. Well, I guess the Sandworm is the second boss fight. The first one is the suit of armor at the beginning of the game. But, we got a boss fight done. Under Unraveled more of the story and what's going on in the current state of things. So, gonna go ahead and call it here. Wanted to give my impressions before we wrap up. And I may not have shown it a whole lot, but I'm actually liking this game quite a bit. One of my biggest pet peeves is when a game doesn't really feel like it respects your time and things just take longer than it feels like they should. And I'm definitely not feeling that with this game. The movement speed is so fast. When you do attacks, the animations are so quick that you can just like basically input the commands as quickly as you want to. It's not waiting for like hit a button, wait to go to the next menu, stuff like that. You can just be real snappy, get through fights as quickly as you want to. And the story, it's pretty good. It's not something that I'm like blown away by, but there are definitely way more games that the story and just the dialogue, the way it's written, is just like a bit of a hassle to get through. The writing in this is actually pretty good. It got surprisingly dark near the end that it's not it's not shy on holding back or making everything like very kid friendly or neutral. It's like, it's actually kind of pushing it a bit more than I was expecting. And it's an interesting world so far. I wasn't like the most excited about learning the history of the different countries and the, the war that's been going on for so long, but the story's actually pretty interesting. And I'm actually remembering the history that they explain and the sky armor and that whole like concept and the Anubis Egyptian armor. The theme is good enough that I'm actually like pretty engaged with it. And just the art world, the pixel art, it's like 16 bit, I think is about where it is. And when you explore the world, like there's a lot of movement. Like when you're going through the woods, you can see birds fly away as you pass, pass through them. So it seems like there's a lot of attention to detail in this game and surprisingly well-crafted more than I was anticipating. I also like all the different types of animal species, like humanoids, rather than just like human after human and that's all you meet. So this game, I didn't really know anything about it going into it, but I, I liked it a surprising amount and I might, I'll probably continue playing it on my own. I am not too high expectations that I'll actually beat the game just because there's so many games coming out. It's hard to keep up with like AAA games, but this is really a indie hit that I was like surprisingly impressed by. So if this game looks fun to you or you like JRPGs, also got to mention the combat system. I like that the overdrive mechanics, so it's not just, okay, I know what the best strategy is to do the most damage per second. So just do that every fight. You have to consider what the moves are, what's going to 
take you out of overdrive or make you overheat. So that balancing act definitely gives it more variety to the fights. That's a lot more than just going in single-minded focus. This is the optimal strategy, and then just do the same thing every fight. It really breaks up the monotony a lot. And the leveling up system, they can pick what skills you want and then decide between do you want to unlo unlock a new skill, a passive skill, just boost your stats. It's going to be the most relevant like when you're level 50 rather than using a skill that might get outdated and replaced by other things. I feel like it gives you a surprising number of options and you can build the character you want rather than leveling up. You get whatever it gives you and if it's not something you want to use, like if it just gives you a skill that's like a debuff on enemies and you're like okay i'm not going to use this and it's like that's it when you get to pick what skills you want you get to choose build the character how you want to make it rather than just waiting until the character gets to where you want it to be so i think it's really well designed and not even just like the combat's good and that's it it's like the combat's good and interesting the art is well presented the world is surprisingly interactive and there's a lot more movement in the world than I was anticipating. And the story is also pretty engaging. So all around, like, like I said, surprisingly, surprising indie hit. So if you're looking for a JRPG, something new, that's not just feels like it's been done before and the combat's very samey feeling, I would definitely recommend this game chained echoes. So hope that gives you good impressions of it and lets you know if this is a game that's up your alley or not. And personally, I would give it the Leviatrust recommendation. Haven't done that before. It's not really a thing yet, but here's a pretty good start to it. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys will stay around and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.